Hello and welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Uh, you'll notice you've got an upgrade in Dan for today's video. Um, I run UK Bike Fit, a bike fitting and performance testing studio in Derbyshire. Um, the reasons you've got me today is, well, two reasons. One, um, in a couple of weeks time, in three weeks time, sorry, I'll be doing the Graloc, a gravel race up in Scotland. And Dan would like me to get some footage for that, um, for that event for you. So I'm just figuring out how to sort of use the GoPro today on the bike and see how it all works and see how I can, you know, get the best footage. Um, and two, second reason is that I'm doing a pretty epic ride today uh, with Lee Timmis, the um, current Guinness World Record holder for the uh, quickest time from north to south across Europe and uh, the previous Guinness World Record holder for the... Um, greatest distance cycled in seven days, which you might have seen on this channel. So uh, we're doing a pretty epic ride with him. We're doing the uh, Tour of the Peak route, if you've heard of it. Um, there's a company called Velo29 that do uh, Sportive on this route, and we've done it a couple of times before, and it's um, it's a really good route. It's the best way to see the Peak District. So uh, it's about 111 miles and nearly 12,000 feet of climbing. So. Um, it's going to be a long day out. I'm currently sheltering in the car because, as you'll see, we've got glorious British weather again. So we were due to start this ride at about uh, 8.30 this morning or 8 o'clock this morning, but we've pushed the time back because the weather this afternoon and this evening looks really nice. So we're actually going to start, it's about 11 o'clock now, uh, Lee said he's going to be a little bit late. Um, but that's fine. The later we start, the better, I think, because we'll we'll get the best of the weather and, and miss as much of the, the rain as possible. So um, as part of prep for the Graloc, obviously it's a very different ride today. It's probably going to be an eight hour ride and fairly steady pace and intensity. Whereas on the Graloc, it's going to be hopefully around four hours and it's going to be all out from the start. The thing that I want to test today is, or two things I want to test today is that one is the hydration pack that I'll be using. I've only ridden with it once on a very short ride and it felt fine, but I just want to get used to wearing it and using it to drink from, which sounds daft, but it's hard to remember to drink with when you've got the hydration pack because I wouldn't, I'd normally use bottles obviously. So um, I want to do that. And the second thing I want to do is test a fueling and hydration plan. So um, at the performance or the bike fitting studio and the performance testing um, facilities that we've got we do sweat testing which enables you to find out how much sodium you lose in your sweat um, and once you know that you can then make sure that you top up your electrolyte as uh, appropriately for your for your body's losses so um, I know how much sodium is in my sweat and how much sweat I will be sweating per litre um, how much sorry how much sweat I'll be sweating per hour um, so I want to test that plan today. So I've got the hydration pack with one and a half liters of electrolyte. And I then have two 500 mil bottles um, on my bike with the same concentration of electrolyte. Um, those bottles have also got um, 90 grams of carbohydrate in each. Um, and then I've brought along some powder so I can top those bottles up with another 90 grams each. So all in all, I've got enough hydration and carbs to last me five hours without stopping. Um, obviously, I think we probably will be today. We'll probably stop at a couple of, couple of cafes. But um, if I can get into the habit of not using any other carbohydrate other than the carb mix, that would be good because that is my plan for the Graloc is just to solely fuel on carb mix, um, which works quite well for me. Um, so we'll see how that goes today. I was going to say it's starting to brighten up, but I think that's probably a bit optimistic. But um, we'll see. Right, let's get out. Okay, I'm out the car. It is cold and it is wet. Uh, Lee has just turned up, but whilst he's parking and getting his stuff ready, I thought I'd show you the bike um, I'm on today. It is my gravel bike. It's the bike I'll be using for the Graloc. Um, so it is a BMC Caius. It is a gravel frame. I'm getting interrupted by this What's dude. That? Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> We've got Mr. Lee Timmis with us. What's up? World record holder, smashing me on the climbs, ruining my legs, and we're about five miles in, so that's good. Uh, Lee's gonna have my ass to me all day today, so. You mean hand your ass to you again? You remember the first time we came out and did this? 
Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it can't be any worse than the first time. So we have done this route a couple of times before together, and it's a bit of an annual thing now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is the annual uh, Smash Dan Fest. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we are nearly at Castleton. So the route itself is about 111 miles, I think, and 12,000 feet. So it's a big day out. The weather is grim, as you can tell. And the reason I've not done that much filming yet is because Dan distinctly told me to not do any filming into a headwind. And it's been all headwind and rain. So pretty miserable start it is due to lighting up later on. So hopefully it will. But yeah, big day out. Whoa, big day out! Dan and Lee's big day out! God help me. <laughs> All right, so first main climb of the day. I mean, we've been going uphill for quite a lot of the route already, but first main climb of the day is Winnett's Pass. Most of you, well, nearly all of you who ride around here anyway will know what that is, but it's quite a famous cycling climb, if you like. Uh, and it looks absolutely moody today, I would say. There we are. So, Winnets is fairly steep. Um, we're on the bottom section here, it's about 6%. But later on, it ramps up to around 25. Ramps up to around 25%. So, it's going to get pretty steep pretty quickly. So, I'm just gonna pace myself up this bit. I've been doing 350 watts on Lee's wheel up the climbs. So I'm not gonna do that up here. So I'm gonna let him go and see him at the top, but it looks absolutely stunning today. It is beautiful, eh? I'm talking Thanks about the, the climb, not your ass. <laughs> Thanks mate, love you too. <laughs> Just stopped near Lady Bower. The weather has not been conducive to filming, has it? It's either oh, been no. headwind, wind, uh, headwind, rain, uh, just head down, pedal away kind of thing. But it is starting to ease off. It's quite like bright now. Like, obviously, we've got some dry weather to come. Lee's even stripping off. That tells you how warm it is. <laughs> yeah. How would you describe the last hour? <laughs> um, oh, you know, there was those moments when the, the possibly the worst bike you could have ever been on, like going down steep descents with gravel, with potholes, you'd really be wanting some nice wide tires, maybe some disc brakes. Yeah, none of that for me, thanks. <laughs> I have to do it the hard way. But, oh, I'm just so glad we came out, you know. When you look at the weather forecast in the morning, you're like, oh, that's looking shocking, we're not going to do it. And then you gut it because it turns out nice. I'm really glad we're out. Yeah, and it's supposed to get better again, so hopefully. I can even see, look, over there, over the reservoir, a bit of blue sky coming out, so hopefully it'll be a nice end. But the wind, oh my God, the wind's just been terrible. Anyway. We're heading towards uh, Home Firth and Home Moss. That's the, I think that's the next big climb. Yeah, yeah, wicked so. views at the top. We should probably log in again at that point. Yes, we will catch you then. Just come in the toilets. Is this not the best wallpaper you've ever seen? Look at that. And there's some totally brilliant fashion icons on display here. I mean, I think that's David Miller. Look at that. I mean, why Rafa hasn't brought out zebra skin bib shorts yet? I don't know. Yes. Quick cafe stop at Bankview Cafe. Can you tell that uh, they're welcome to the cyclists by the by the decor? It's definitely a cycling friendly cafe. Did you see the uh, wall? A cycling cafe. Did you see the wallpaper in the toilets? I uh, saw one that was uh, some kind of love story, like finding someone for John. It was. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you, you didn't you didn't see was the that toilet. The toilet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Cycle Weekly magazines all over the world. Oh wallpaper. no! Yeah, all the old Cycle. I Weekly. think I went in the toilet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so just had a quick cast up. Um, bit of food, bit of drink, and now we're going to head straight off because time. Yeah, we're chipping out. I'm charged on sugar and caffeine. Yes. There's going to be half an hour of happiness and then suddenly downhill. <laughs> <laughs> well, after some uphill first, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've got home moss in about, I don't know, not long. We're really close to home moss. So we've got that big climb to go and then we should turn into a tailwind. So 
Touch oh wood. man, it's time. It's time for a tailwind. Yeah. So touch wood is about to get a bit easier, but um, but yeah, we're about what are we? Uh, and 65 k's 41 miles we don't do this k's and meters so i don't know what world uh, you live in 41 miles 4600 feet uh we've averaged 15 miles an hour so not bad into a headwind so oh we get that average up to like 30 miles an hour by the end yeah easy easy, easy. so yeah let's crack on then cool so we're about halfway up home moss never done this climb without a stonking headwind so I've got a real hate, hatred for this climb. Lee seems to love it. I love this climb. Something to do with being 60 kilos and FTP of 320, but something like that. In my dreams. Um, yeah, let's go with that. There's a lot of red on the old Wahoo near the top, but look at that. Beautiful. Glorious. Bit of sunshine on the hill, never hurt anybody. So we're gonna get to the top of here, probably pretty slowly. <laughs> and then descend the other side um, and turn back and at that point we'll probably be about halfway so Ooh. just another 55 miles to go <laughs> and a lot of climbing but... we got up it wasn't pretty <laughs> but we got up a way to start a video we're still alive people it's amazing yeah it was pretty grim uh, again Dan definitely said don't film into a headwind and try my best but it's pretty windy so hopefully you can hear this, but look at that view. There you go. Bit of art for you, bit of art, bit of culture. Culture, but yeah, culture. Pretty, pretty stunning up here, isn't it? And luckily, we've got to go down the other side now. Oh, bang it, it's going to be wicked. We'll, Dead we'll, excited. We'll probably be pedalling down that descent. Yeah, we will, for sure. Well, you will, and I'll tuck in really nicely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we made it to Macclesfield, so... Um, I should probably get some stats for you. We have 82 miles, 9,600 feet of ascent uh, in five hours, 38. So we're, we're not far from the finish now. We're just at the base of the Cat and Fiddle. Um, we're outside the co-op because uh, we need sugar. It's getting to that point in the ride where you just need any, any sort of energy. Um, update on the uh, fueling plan it's not gone great but that's why I'm testing it out today I suppose um, since about mile 30 mile 35 had a bit of stomach pain just a little bit of stomach pain um, like even before the cafe stop so the only thing I can think that what that is is um, the concentration of carb mix so it's the first time I've had 90 grams of carbs in a 500 ml bottle. So even though I've spread that out over an hour and a half when I've been drinking it, um, and I have taken that amount of carbs per hour before, I've not had it in that sort of concentration. So that's the only thing I think that is, because it was before the cafe stopped, so it wasn't anything I had there. Um, and it was only after 30 miles, like I say, so you know, really no time at all. I've had the same carbs before, it's the same carb mix I've been using, didn't have any gels, any anything else, just carb mix and water and electrolytes. Um, and yeah, it's been bugging me. It's just been progressively getting worse, so now it's actually quite painful. So um, yeah, just taken, I've just had something from co-op to settle my stomach a bit, so hopefully that works. Um, but we've not got, long, not got long to go, so we'll push through. Um, up the camp fiddle and then we've basically got a bit of flat rolly stuff and then a big descent to finish so yeah not far now but struggling <laughs> so Lee's doing something some sort of bike ride this summer that apparently is you know quite a big deal I don't know never heard of it but yes a um, big bike ride yeah yeah so do you want to uh, explain what you're up to this uh, this summer I'm racing the transcontinental which is it's a race across Europe um, I guess it's kind of the most prestigious race across Europe I would say I think that's how they sell it as well it attracts the best racers from around the world ultra endurance every year it races across the continent but it's a different route you have to design your own route based on a beginning and end and four checkpoints so this year it starts in Roubaix and finishes in Turkey Istanbul 
which I think is pretty much the most iconic route you could do across Europe. That's pretty pretty amazing. Um, and then the checkpoints are all at um, pretty high altitude, like mountain passes. Out, they're, they're trying to throw you out into the sticks in the middle of nowhere. So the first one is, I think it's 2,005 meters in these beautiful mountains in Slovenia. Um, and then you've got one similar, I think, in uh, Bosnia and then Kosovo. And then you take this southern border crossing into Turkey and then loop that round. It's insane though. It's like 2,500 miles. Mm. You, you work in miles, don't you? You don't yeah, do yeah. Don't, 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 don't screw me up with those kilometers of rubbish. Yeah, um, and I think in uh, it's something like uh, 70 billion feet of climbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so unsupported. Totally unsupported, yeah, no teams, which is different to what I've done before. I mean, yeah. actually, cycled around the world for seven years and supported but very different way of doing things like carrying everything that you needed for life on the bike um, this is pretty much like how much can you streamline life and carry it yourself um, but yeah no teams no support from anyone at the roadside it's just what you can find in like co-ops at the side of the road yeah yeah it's not a sponsored video by co-op but it just happens yeah to other me. convenience or, stores are available or jelly babies <laughs> um would you say that this ride today is your final hardest prep ride oh no you've got to train harder than you intend to race so this is way harder than i would expect to yeah, do yeah. yeah out there would be a piece of that yeah okay which is why you asked me to ride today just to give you a bit of a test of i needed to be pushed today put, yeah put three paces just to make sure you're on top form and if yeah. you can hang with me for 100 miles then yeah transcontinental easy i think yeah yeah you're so humble that's the thing with you i mean <laughs> i try <laughs> You've been across Europe before, um, north to south. You still have that, that the ego alarm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lee's head's just got. <laughs> <laughs> um, you still got the record for that, right? Yeah, you yeah. Still hold the record, um, and that's what the book is about that you've just written, right? Yeah, the book came out last July, um, but yeah, that's what it was. That's what the book is about, and. Um, I think maybe this is kind of what I do these projects for. It's not about the race across Europe. It's about the personal transformation that I went through to get to the start line. So uh, for the f I basically came back from riding around the world, had lived in a tent for seven years, and within like the space of a year, I transformed to become an elite athlete and break a record of going across Europe. Um, and it breaks it down into like building teams and working with scientists and changing your whole lifestyle um, and a lot of it really was about the mind rather than the body a lot of work with uh, performance psychologists um, and the way that I guess um, I guess habits change you and I think that's something that I really struggled with before like I thought that you uh, you had a problem you find a solution that's it you're good to go but actually you might know the solution but you have to become the solution um, so yeah, massive lifestyle change and a massive change in the way that I thought as well. Real mindset change. Yeah. And then we met and you, your life changed again for the better. Oh, it's and amazing. Yeah, yeah. We did the seven day world record. We, we did a series of videos on this channel. So if you've not seen those, go back and watch them. Dan, put a link in the description to those videos. You'll probably forget, but go and search for them. Um, cause that was a pretty epic week, wasn't it? Oh, it's mad. In one it way or another. It was so good. Yeah. Um, I think that maybe one of the things that I'm going to take away from this and the seven day record is that when you and I are together, the weather is awful. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that when it's sat in glorious sunshine. It wasn't like this earlier. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so yeah, exciting times. Good yeah, luck. dead exciting. Yeah. What are you doing this summer? <laughs> Sat on my ass watching tele watching the tour. Oh nice, yeah, yeah. Messaging you while she's doing transcontinental yeah. going. Ride harder. Oh, what are you doing? Just Ride another faster. twenty kilometers. You'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, classic teammate, team like team morale, that's wicked, thanks. Sweet. Shall we get up this climb? We ought to, yeah. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna run out of sun. <laughs> <laughs> Just started climbing up Cat and Fiddle. Look at that. What an evening. Uh, it's about half seven now. Is it half seven? No. What is it? 
25 past seven. <laughs> oh, it's about 25 past seven now. Um, and we've got about 26 miles to go. This is the last real climb. Most of the rest is a bit lumpy and then downhill. Um, so it's a bit of a race against daylight, but I've got a rear light. Have you got a front light? No, I'm waking something up. Uh, okay, it's a race against daylight then. It's a race against time. Who would have thought? <laughs> done, race against time. It's all over again. <laughs> so, yeah. So we've got about an hour and a half until it gets really dark. So we'll see how we go. Wish us luck. Such a nice climb. Coming up to the top of the climb. Look at the view behind me. Proper golden hour now. And we've done nearly 11,000 feet. Um, and we've only got, well, we've we got only got 22 miles left. So we've got a fair bit of distance, but not a lot of climbing. A lot of descending. A lot of descending. And there's the Cat and Fiddle pub. What a view. Down the other side and back to Bakewell. Yes, just in time for no Bakewell puddings. No, Bakewell pudding shop will be closed. Well closed. There you go, last bit of daylight. Just before we descend into Bakewell, perfect timing. We're just going to beat nightfall, which is great. Uh, how are you feeling, Lee? Oh, I've just about warmed up now. Should we go and do that proper ride? Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> I'm an absolute shell. So, let's do this descent and get it over and done with. Ride done and dusted. Yeah. Stats on screen, Dan. <laughs> we'll fix it all in post. Like, yeah. we'll make it look dead class. All those, like... Make it look like we had a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we can do that to you, mate. Yeah. But we can put palm trees in, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wicked. No, that was a good ride, that. Uh, I'll tell you what it was. It was 113 miles, 12,206 feet total. 15.3 mile an hour average, seven and a half hours. I'm well impressed. Yeah, not a bad day out. Yeah, well done. Not a bad we day out. up against it as well at the beginning. That was hardcore. Yeah, the first... First couple of hours into the wind, well, first four hours, five hours yeah, into the wind, was yeah. pretty, pretty miserable. Um, that which, tailwind though, smashed it back. Yeah, made good time. So yeah, good to see you mate. Thanks very much man, cheers. No worries, have a good one. See day. you later. Ta-ra.